Welcome to another episode of our official United Kingdom road signs series. Our goal is to simplify the learning of all UK road signs and make them easy to understand. Join us as we reveal the complex structure of UK road signs, making the learning experience both simple and enjoyable. Today, we will learn about order giving signs. Order giving signs are road signs ordering or telling road users to take specific actions while using the road. Stop and give way. When you encounter a stop sign on the road, you must bring your vehicle to a standstill, and you should not proceed until it is safe to do so. Ensure that your vehicle is stationary before the marked stop line or at a point where you have a clear view of the intersection. After stopping, yield the right of way to any vehicles or pedestrians that have the right of way according to the traffic rules. This may include vehicles on the intersecting road or pedestrians at a crossing. Give way to traffic on the major road. Drivers approaching this sign must be ready to stop if necessary and allow vehicles on the main road to proceed without interruption. Be ready to come to a complete stop if there is traffic on the major road. Adjust your speed accordingly. No entry for vehicular traffic. This sign indicates that motor vehicles are not allowed to enter the road or area where the sign is displayed. Forbidden to enter the road from this direction. They're often found at one end of a one-way street, ensuring all traffic flows in the correct direction. If you see this sign, you must not drive into that road. All vehicles prohibited. When you see this sign, it tells you that the road is not open for any vehicles. It means that no cars, trucks, or motorcycles are allowed on the road. It's like saying, don't drive any vehicle here. Only people walking or pushing bicycles on foot are allowed. Motor vehicles prohibited. This sign means that cars, motorcycles, buses, vans, trucks and SUV are not allowed on this road. Motor vehicles except solo motorcycles prohibited. No motor vehicles, except solo motorcycles, are allowed on this road. A solo motorcycle refers to a standard or regular motorcycle designed to carry only one rider. It does not have a sidecar or additional seating for passengers. This sign is crucial for road safety, indicating restrictions on certain types of vehicles. Solo motorcycles prohibited. Prohibits the use of certain roads by solo motorcyclists. Other vehicles and motorcycles that are not solo are not restricted. This sign is usually erected for safety reasons, especially to ensure the safety of other road users, as well as to prevent accidents that may occur as a result of the actions of solo motorcyclists. Towed caravans prohibited. This sign shows that towing caravans is not allowed on the road. It helps keep roads safe by preventing larger vehicles, like towed caravans, from using certain routes. Pedestrians prohibited. This sign indicates areas where pedestrians should not walk for their safety and the safety of drivers. This sign may be used to prohibit pedestrians from crossing a roadway at an undesirable location or public building where a crossing is not designated. It helps maintain order and prevent accidents on certain roads. Ridden or accompanied horses prohibited. This sign means horses are not allowed on the road. It's important for safety. Horses on roads can be dangerous for both riders and drivers. Cars and trucks might scare horses, leading to accidents. Prohibiting ridden or accompanied horses helps prevent injuries to both the horses and people using the road. It ensures everyone's safety. Horse-drawn vehicles prohibited. This sign tells people that horse-drawn vehicles are not allowed on the road. It is about keeping everyone safe on the road. Horse-drawn vehicles can be tricky to handle and roads can be busy. Banning them helps avoid accidents and makes sure everyone, including pedestrians and drivers, stays safe. Articulated vehicles prohibited. This sign means large lorries or trucks are not allowed on that road. The road might be narrow, have low bridges or twists and turns that make it difficult for big trucks to navigate safely. Keeping lorries out helps prevent traffic jams and accidents. Goods vehicles exceeding an unladen weight OF 7.5 tons prohibited. The sign says big trucks over 7.5 tons can't go on this road. Heavy trucks can damage the road. This sign keeps them out to keep the road safe. 
End of prohibition of goods vehicles exceeding the maximum and laden weight. This sign means big trucks can now use the road again, which was previously closed to them. There are reasons like road improvements or less traffic. Knowing why helps drivers understand the change. Vehicles exceeding length indicated prohibited. This sign signals that overly longer vehicles or combinations of more than 9.9 meters in length are not permitted to use this. Roads with this sign may have structures like bridges or tunnels that aren't safe for very long vehicles. Bringing such vehicles could lead to damage or accidents. Vehicles carrying explosives prohibited. This sign tells drivers that they can't transport dangerous goods, like explosives on this road. Explosives can be very dangerous. If a vehicle carrying them has an accident, it could cause a big explosion and hurt people or damage things. Explosives such as dynamite, TNT, gunpowder or fireworks can cause powerful and potentially harmful explosions if care is not taken. Vehicles exceeding width indicated prohibited. The sign tells drivers not to use the road if their vehicle is wider than the sign shows. It keeps roads safe by preventing wide vehicles from getting stuck or causing accidents in narrow spaces. It helps maintain smooth traffic flow by preventing congestion caused by stuck or oversized loaded vehicles. Generally, the maximum width for a load is 2.55 meters which is 8 feet for inches on a single carriageway road. However, wider loads may be accommodated with proper authorization and under specific conditions. Vehicles exceeding height indicated prohibited. This sign tells drivers that vehicles taller than the height mentioned on the sign are not allowed on that road. Structures like bridges and tunnels have specific height clearances. If vehicles exceed this limit, they might get stuck or cause damage. This sign helps drivers avoid such situations. This sign gives them time to choose an alternate route if their vehicle is too tall. No overtaking. This sign tells drivers not to overtake other vehicles. It's like saying, don't go past the car in front of you. Overtaking can be dangerous, especially if you can't see what's coming from the opposite direction. This sign helps prevent accidents by keeping everyone in line. Priority must be given to vehicles from the opposite direction. Let vehicles coming from the opposite direction go first. In other words, give priority to vehicles approaching from the opposite direction. Minimizes potential conflicts at intersections or narrow roads and reduces the chance of vehicles meeting head-on. No U-turns for vehicular traffic. The no U-turn road sign tells drivers that they cannot make a complete turn to go back in the opposite direction. This rule helps maintain a smooth flow of traffic and prevents unexpected turns that can lead to confusion and accidents. It keeps vehicles moving in the intended direction, promoting safety on the road. No right turn for vehicular traffic. This sign tells drivers that they are not allowed to turn their vehicle to the right at that specific point on the road. One reason for this rule is to keep the traffic moving smoothly. Turning right at certain places might be risky due to limited visibility or other road conditions. By restricting right turns, it helps prevent accidents and keeps everyone on the road safer. No left turn for vehicular traffic. This means you can't turn left at that place. Following this sign prevents confusion and keeps traffic moving in the right direction. It helps organize the flow of cars and avoids jams or collisions. Stop. Children crossing ahead. It tells drivers that children may be crossing the road, so they should stop and be cautious. Children may not always pay attention to traffic rules, so this sign serves as a visual alert to drivers, urging them to slow down and be watchful. This sign can only be displayed by a person at a patrolled crossing. School crossing patrols help children and adults cross the road safely. Stop before crossing. Police ahead. When you see this sign, it means there are police officers ahead and you should come to a complete stop. Stopping before the crossing is important to give pedestrians a safe way to cross the road. It prevents accidents and ensures everyone's safety. Vehicular traffic must turn left. It's like a map telling drivers to go to the left side of the road. The turn left sign is there to make sure drivers take the safest route at specific points. This helps prevent accidents and keeps everyone on the road safer. It's like a guide saying, 
this is the best way to go left here. Vehicular traffic must turn ahead in the direction indicated by the arrow. It means vehicles must turn to the direction of the arrow on the board. When everyone follows the arrow, traffic flows more efficiently. It minimizes congestion, delays, and the likelihood of traffic jams, benefiting everyone on the road. Vehicular traffic refers to the movement of vehicles on roads or highways. It includes all types of vehicles such as cars, trucks, motorcycles, bicycles, and buses. Vehicular traffic passing the sign must keep to the left of the sign. This sign tells drivers to stay on the left side of the road. Driving on the left in the UK is a tradition. Roads and signs are designed with this in mind. Sticking to the left side of the sign is crucial for maintaining order and preventing chaos on the roads. Mini roundabout. This sign tells drivers that there's a small circular traffic feature ahead called a mini roundabout. You must go clockwise, right round the roundabout, to get to your exit. When entering a roundabout, give way to traffic on the roundabout, unless road markings or signs say otherwise. Vehicles may pass either side to reach same direction. This sign shows that it's okay to pass a vehicle on either side to reach the same direction, and passing on either side is allowed to facilitate smooth traffic flow. This sign indicates a road with a central reservation, allowing vehicles to pass on either side in the same direction. No waiting or no parking. This sign means you can't stop your vehicle at the marked area, even for a short time. No waiting signs are easily confused with no stopping signs. Rather than displaying a red cross, they feature a single diagonal red stripe on the same blue background. Drivers are allowed to drop off or pick up a passenger in a no waiting zone, although anything longer is prohibited. Clearway, no stopping. A clearway is a section or road where you are not allowed to stop your vehicle for any reason, unless in an emergency. Ensures a continuous flow of traffic, preventing disruptions and potential hazards caused by sudden stops along the road. 1. Way traffic. One-way traffic signs tell drivers that only one direction is allowed on a particular road. One-way traffic signs help in maintaining a smooth flow of vehicles. When everyone is moving in the same direction, it minimizes confusion and congestion. National speed limit applies. Follow the general speed limit rules for the type of road you're on. For example, don't exceed 70 miles per hour on motorways. Different roads have different speed limits to ensure safe driving conditions. This sign reminds drivers to know and adhere to these limits, promoting overall road safety. This limit is set for safety. In built-up areas, like neighborhoods and towns, slower speeds give drivers more time to react to unexpected situations. This usually refers to a 70 miles per hour speed limit on motorways and most dual carriageways, and a 60 miles per hour limit on single carriageways in a car. Not all roads are the same. The national speed limit changes depending on the type of road. For example, it might be faster on a big highway, but slower on a smaller road where there might be more turns or people walking. Minimum speed limit of 30 miles per hour. This sign tells road users that they can't go under a certain speed in this area. For example, when seeing this sign, a driver will know the minimum speed is 30 miles per hour. However, it's important to remember that going too slowly also counts as breaking a speed limit. End of 30 miles per hour minimum speed limit. This sign means that a minimum speed limit has ended and the required maximum speed on that road is in place. Road users who see this sign as they drive past must know that it indicates the end of the minimum speed requirement that was put in place. Area in which cameras are used to enforce the speed limit regulations. Drivers who see this sign are reminded that they're driving in an area where speed cameras are in use. This means if you're driving under or over the speed limit, you're more likely to get caught. Drivers should know that a speed camera is nearby when they see this sign. Drivers should ensure their speed is consistent and within the limit. Speed camera. They help control how fast people drive, reducing the chances of accidents. Remember this sign could be placed alongside different speed limits. 
speed cameras and road signs work together to prevent crashes and collisions. Maximum speed. The maximum speed signs show the fastest speed allowed on a road. It's like a rule saying, don't go faster than this. This helps keep everyone safe because going too fast can lead to accidents. Not all roads are the same. Some roads have lots of twists and turns, and others are straight. The maximum speed signs consider these differences. It's like a guide saying, on this road, this is the fastest you should go to stay safe. Buses prohibited. This sign indicates that buses are not allowed in a specific lane. This is to keep traffic moving smoothly, buses may be restricted to certain routes or areas. This helps prevent congestion and ensures safer and more efficient travel for all road users. Riding of pedal cycles prohibited. This sign says you can't ride bicycles here. It is an offence to ride a pedal cycle intentionally on a pavement. Note that only riding is prohibited. You can get off your bike and push it. That's push it, not scoot it along. Cycling on a road or other public place, including a bridleway, while unfit through drink or drugs carries a fine up to £1,000. Undivided, shared path route for cyclists and pedestrians only. This sign is used to show mixed-use cycle lanes that are for both pedestrians and cyclists. A shared path is designed for all types of users including pedestrians, wheelchair users and cyclists. Some shared paths may be identified by signs showing a white bicycle and pedestrians on a blue background. Divided track for cyclists and pedestrians only. Divided tracks provide a comfortable and accessible environment for both cyclists and pedestrians. Having separate paths ensures a smoother and more organized movement for cyclists and pedestrians. Please keep to the correct side. Remember to always share with care. Route for use by pedal cycles only. This sign means only bicycles are allowed on this path. It's important because it keeps the route safe for cyclists by reducing conflicts with other types of traffic. By designating certain routes for pedal cycles only, it encourages more people to choose cycling as a means of transportation. Route for use by tramcars only. This sign indicates that the route is reserved exclusively for tramcars. Tramcars have specific tracks, and allowing only tramcars on this route reduces the chances of collisions and keeps the road safer for both tram passengers and other road users. Route for use by buses and tramcars only. This sign is designed to indicate that the only trams or trams and buses are permitted to use the road tramway ahead. This sign is most commonly placed where a tramway leaves an existing carriageway. Contraflow bus lane. This sign shows a bus lane where buses travel in the opposite direction to the regular flow of traffic. It helps buses move faster and more efficiently by using a lane dedicated to them, even if it goes against the usual traffic direction. Buses can avoid traffic congestion, reaching their destinations faster and sticking to their schedules. Manually stop. The red octagonal sign with the word stop written in white. When you see a stop sign, you need to bring your vehicle to a complete stop. Manually operated temporary stop and go signs. Enhances road safety and avoids confusion at junctions. Manually go. The green circular sign with the word go written in white. This is crucial for avoiding jams and ensuring a smooth and organized movement of vehicles on the roads. They give clear instructions to drivers, pedestrians, and cyclists, preventing accidents and confusion at road construction sites. Our next episode of the official UK Road Signs series will be Information Signs. Attention viewers, it's crucial to pay close attention and study our Road Signs series very well. There will be a test at the end of the series to evaluate your knowledge of road signs. This test is designed to ensure that you grasp the essential information needed to pass your theory test and navigate our roads safely and responsibly. So, buckle up and take your time to absorb the details of each road sign. Your safety and the safety of others depend on your understanding of these important symbols. We hope you study well and pass the test with flying colors. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel.